Arrol Johnston Factory and Power Plant, 6 Caldoach Road, Tongland. In 1916, with the First World War still raging and the government clamouring for greater output of all sorts of munitions, the Arrol Johnston Factory in Dumfries was overloaded with work. Thomas Pullinger commissioned a second, modern, daylight factory for Arrol Johnston's near Kakubri. The Tongland factory was conceived of not just as a munitions factory staffed by women for the duration of the war, but as an engineering university for female staff. The company promoted this idea to attract educated young women and set up a structured apprenticeship system to train women who wished to take up engineering as a profession whilst producing engines and other war-related items for the company's government contracts. The factory is on the eastern bank of the River Dee, accessed by a minor country road, as the village and the main A711 road are both on the western bank of the river. Kukubri is two and a half miles to the south, and in those times Kukubri had a railway connecting it to Dumfries, but that closed in 1965. Tongland was quite an isolated rural area at the time when most parts of the country did not yet have electrical supply. The national grid was still decades away. So Arrol Johnson built themselves a small hydroelectric plant on the River Dee. The powerhouse is still there on the riverbank opposite the factory and can be seen from the churchyard wall. The hydroelectric station was replaced in 1930s by the very much larger Tongland power station downstream, which is part of the Galloway hydroelectric scheme. When the University for Women Engineers was being built, Thomas Pullinger imagined that the ladies would live in a residential hospital, but that was not finished in time and most of the workers took lodgings locally or in Kukubri. The factory had a tennis court on the roof and other welfare facilities, and many of the women owned motorbikes or bicycles to travel around the area. After the end of the war, the factory produced a light car for Arrol Johnson's, the Galloway, still using a largely female workforce, under the new name of Galloway Motors Limited. Dorothy Pullinger returned from her war work in 1919 and set about learning all aspects of the business, beginning in the foundry of the Tongland factory, where she learnt core making, moulding and casting. The Tongland factory eventually failed and the factory closed in 1922. Production of the Galloway cars was transferred to the Heath Hall works until Arrow Johnson itself closed down in 1928. The factory then had various occupants making artificial silk, battery farming eggs and now making fibreglass mouldings and boats. The main building is unoccupied and too dangerous to allow entry to visitors and the low-level buildings are active industrial areas so please do not trespass onto the site. <laughs>